I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will practice how to sketch vectors in R3. The question here is sketch a possible rectangular prism with volume of 20 unit cube. Right. So this basically is related to vectors. Now let us see how to sketch one. Okay. So when we say rectangular prism with volume of 20 unit cube then uh, we could have length width and height in many different ways let's say so we have volume of 20 unit cube right so unit cube so we could get 20 by let us say uh, 2 times 2 times 4 5 right that gives me 20 unit cube right I could also get 20 unit cube by 1 times 4 times 5 right so that is also 20 unit cube and as you know there are many many different combinations we could do 1 times 10 times 2 and so on right now let us assume that one of these is our dimension and we'll use that to sketch a rectangular prism the whole idea here is not just to represent a rectangular prism but also to write down the vectors representing each side right so so i should because we are talking about operations with vectors in r3 so this question is belonging to the subject which is sketching vectors in r3 okay so it looks looks kind of uh, weird but anyway i hope you understand the concept okay so i'll use one of these dimensions to sketch a vector in r3 for you uh, and then we will see uh, how to really get used to these diagrams so what we have here is 3d space represented by x y and z axis correct so that is my x y and z axis so when we say a rectangular prism with volume of 20 unit cube now we are actually dealing with vectors as i said what we will do is i'll sketch one which has these dimensions let's say one four and five you do the one with two two and five okay so we have decided about this so let us say we have unit vectors and there is my i the unit vector j along y and k so these are my unit vectors i j k now i'm taking one unit as uh, as a dimension along the x axis right so okay so let me take it a bit bigger right so unit vector okay okay that's fine that's fine let me take it a bit bigger okay so let's say this much is my one unit for uh, slightly bigger okay the one is too small just merge with that right so so that is how my unit vector is now when i say that i component or the component along the x axis is one so I just go one unit so this is my one unit so I could write this as this is my side along the x-axis y component is four so I'll go four units in this direction so one two three and one four right so that is my four so if I complete my base it will be kind of like this do you see that so I get my base here so this is the base of my rectangular prism and now to complete it I have to go from this point five units up right so let's go five units up let me use a different ink it'll be like nicer okay so let's go one unit two units three units four units and five units right so so this is my position now to complete this rectangular prism I have to actually go five units from each and every point correct so once I go so we have five units here also perfect so this is five units and then five units here also which will be kind of somewhere here as you can see we have formed one uh, rectangular prism do you see that so that becomes my front side right and then if I connect it with my X component which which is let us say in this color okay so this is my x component and then the y component which is kind of like this 
So that is the triangular prism which you get and the volume of this triangular prism is 20 unit cube. Now the idea here is not just to make a triangular prism. For you now the question is, question is, let me label this, let's say this this is, let's say this is, oh, I don't want to mix up with this. And let's say points are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, right? So I want you to write down, so you, your question is write vectors representing so I should say position vectors okay so so let me write down position position vectors representing each vertex right each vertex of the prism so that is a test question for you right so so what is the location of a for example right so uh, a is how much so a for example will be equals to from o to a so we could say position vector o a is what position vector o a is i is it okay position vector o b is how much position vector o b will be equals to i plus 4 j so it will be i plus 4 j so at times you can write like this and o c in this case will be o to c is a component along y axis so it is 4 j you get the point is that okay and similarly you could write the other components right so if i have to write o g for example o g now what is o g equals to to reach G as you saw, as we sketched, from O we went to A, right, which is I, right, plus 4J plus 5K. Do you see that? 5K. So this is one way of writing each component, correct? The other way is that I could write coordinate points of G as, as 1, 4, 5, 1, 4, do you see this is another way of writing the points which represent the vector so if I say vector G is 1 4 5 it really means O G which could be written in standard form using the basis vector I plus 4 J plus 5 K and if I write in this form it's called the component form so this is the component form and that one is the standard form. So, so that is how we can represent this particular vector. Now let me add one or two more forms here. Uh, I could also represent G as a matrix. For example, if I write 1, 4, 5. So, so that is vertical. At times this is also equal to, I may prefer to write this as 1, 4, and 5 right so all these represent the same same vector so let me just connect this now with with tail at the origin and head there so that gives me vector OG right so to sketch a vector a position vector OG we may have to sketch a rectangular prism at times so so going it backwards at times if I say sketch position vector OG in this particular form in that case you are likely to make a rectangular prism as we made here could it said okay so I hope with this video you learn how uh, you should be representing vectors in three space so it is extension of learning how to represent vectors in three space how to sketch them and how to appreciate them I hope that makes it very clear Thank you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot.